Magandang maganda maganda maganda. Araw sa inyo mga kababayan. Ako po si Julian Peter Herona, student from Malayan Colleges Laguna. Nandito po tayo ngayon sa Kandubang's very own Rizal Park. At behind me is ang monumento ni Rizal. That's right. Today's theme is a local history of an unsung hero. And ngayon pag-uusapan natin si Jose Rizal. Ay, wait. Mali po yung script. Tama naman po si Jose Rizal. Ah. Ah, si Jose Yulo. Ah, okay. So, ang pag-uusapan po pala natin ay si Jose Yulo at hindi po si Jose Rizal. Kaya doon po tayo sa kapila ng Rizal. Standing behind me is a memorabilia or memorial in honor of Yulo and his family's legacy. The memorial has seen days and the place here has been forgotten except for some landmarks. It begs the question, what makes Jose Yulo an unsung hero of the now defunct Kanlubang Sugar Estate? As a matter of fact, many people who are living in Kandubang today are not aware of the barangay's rich history and people don't even know the essence of why we celebrate Yulo Day on September 21. Personally, I think Yulo's forgotten legacy of his great deeds towards the economic development and philanthropy in Kanlubang are what makes him an unsung hero of the barangay. Don Jose Yulo Sr. was born on September 24, 1894. Yulo was intelligent and bright as he took up law in the University of the Philippines and passed the bar exam at the tender age of 19. He was the youngest graduate of his batch in 1914. Not only did he pass the bar exam at 19 years of age, he aced it and got third place overall which was amazing. But since Jose Yulo was 19 years old at the time, he was not able to practice law because he was still underage and he had to wait until he was 21. Before handing the sugar estate, Yulo was part of the government. Don Jose Yulo ran for Chief Justice in the years 1942 to 1945. He was once the presidential candidate of the Liberal Party in 1957 but lost to Carlos P. Garcia. He is married to Cecilia Araneta and has six children. The following years, Vicente Madrigal, who is a successful businessman in the Philippines, sold Can Lubang and the Sugar Estate to Yulo on September 16, 1948. At the close of World War II in 1945, the country was in dire need of rebuilding. As part of a dream to help reconstruct the battered economy, Don Jose Yulo acquired what is now Can Lubang from its previous owners. As a philanthropist, he used his wealth, resources, and influence and turned the sugar estate into a thriving economy, gave people employment and the workers as well as their family free benefits such as free housing, electricity, water, education, hospitalization, and many more. In front of you is Rizal Institution, which is still active today. A book published by Ocampo, Pagaspas and Payes, which I recommend reading by the way, if you want to know about the comprehensive history of Kandubang, stated that Yulo was a generous and benevolent man. In 1964, 105,000 pesos was budgeted by the estate of the Rizal Institute to give free education to the workers and their families. 105,000 pesos is around 1, pesos in I got to interview one of the original inhabitants of Kan Lubang who experienced Yulo's generosity and was part of the first batch in Rizal Institute, who became a teacher of the institution. I am Elsa Reyes Garaza. I'm going on 87, having been born on March 16, 1936. Thanks to Yulo, the sons and daughters of the workers were able to go to school and achieve their dreams. Being a daughter of an old timer, my family and I, my, my parents, our family, we all benefited from the kindness, benevolence of Mr. Jose Yulo Sr. and his family. We saw to it that the children of uh, his employees were had enough education and that is one reason why he had this Rizal Institute uh, High School built. as was his uh, aim or objective. So many of the graduates of Rizal Institute have found gainful jobs, not only here in the Philippines but even abroad. Lola Elsa shared that Kanlubang back then was so peaceful and idyllic, it is likened to a paradise. Kandumang really is an idyllic place. If I say idyllic, I think that would sound uh, will just uh, be the perfect word to use for the place because it's really a very nice place to live in. 
Eventually, Kanlubang would not stay a paradise forever, as all things must come to an end. Due to rapid growth of industrialization and the decline of the sugar estate, it was inherited by Yulu's sons and some were portioned to become industrial zones. Don Jose Yulu died at the age of 82 because of a respiratory failure. Today, the place looks like a place forgotten in time, but the memories remain. Looking back, I learned that generosity, philanthropy, and charity are principles that can be considered as great deeds. Don Jose Yulo was not a revolutionary or a war hero, but a reformer that helped restore the economy after World War II. He brought positive impact and development to the barangay and its people. One memorable line from Lola Elsa was Yulo's objective that many graduates from Rizal Institute were able to achieve their dreams, not only in the Philippines but also abroad. We may not be as affluent as Sir Yulo, but we can make a positive impact to the lives of others through charitable means, even if it is a small donation. I have gained a deeper appreciation of our Philippine history, which has transformed my perspective of our nation and my fellow countrymen. Aside from head knowledge, I realize how much our ancestors struggled and sacrificed in fighting for our sovereignty, which has strengthened my nationalism. I was fascinated, which developed my habit of reading and researching more about our history. In conclusion, the course has instilled in me a sense of pride in being a Filipino. I am Julian Peter Herona, signing off.